there, today is Tuesday, so it's the middle of the week. I don't normally do vlog style things during the work week, but so much has happened like the last two days, I feel like I'm going to forget by the time it's the weekend. So um, yesterday, Monday morning, I woke up and saw on my phone, because I check my phone every morning, that I had a love with food, a uh, January, January box on the way. And I've never heard of love with food, so I was like, what's that? That's spam. I was going to toss it, you know? Um, and then I read it, and it had my name correct, and it also had a USPS tracking number that was legitimate. So I thought, huh, that's strange. And I looked up the website, and love with food is like a legit site. It's a subscription site where you can get a box every month of different types of healthy snacks. Um, I've never heard of it. I know I have heard of... Is it J-Box or something? I know there's this place that does um, Japanese candy. They'll deliver it to you every month because I looked into that because I was tempted because I love trying like snacks and candy from different countries and cultures. It's like something I really like doing. I love going to World Market and stocking up on different types of candy and stuff. And it's just really fun to try stuff from different countries. Like I've done licorice from, I want to say... I want to say Australia for some reason, but I remember I got into licorice at one point. I didn't like it too much. I've done the soccer bit, the candy um, that's actually Swedish, but they sell it down in LA and in New York. And then the English candy, of course, a lot of like Cadbury's chocolate and that kind of thing. And Japanese. Um, I used to place large Japanese candy orders. <laughs> and then I actually had way too much. But they also have like chips and different flavored Pepsis and all kinds of stuff. So anyways, that's something I really like to do. But I haven't done it in a while. So anyways, um, yeah, I had this subscription and I was thinking, who the heck sent that to me? Because nobody told me um, that they were getting me a love with food subscription. So I texted my mom, my dad, my sister, they all said no, and then my friend DT, because she and I love to talk about food together, like we talk about different restaurants and stuff we want to try out, so I thought, oh, it must be her, because we like to talk about food, it wasn't her, and then I emailed Kim, <laughs> hello Kim, she watches these vlogs, and then I also messaged um, the Italian guy who I dated a little bit last fall, we've stayed friends, we stay in touch, he's back in Italy right now actually with his family, and the funny thing is I just asked him the other day if he could bring me back some treats, like candy and stuff from Italy, some authentic stuff, and I'll PayPal him the money to cover it. Anyways, he said, oh right, that was me. <laughs> oh my gosh, he said, I forgot to tell you, Amanda, I got you a, a Love with Food subscription. And I was like, how do you forget to tell someone that? Because it was like driving me crazy all day yesterday. I was like, who could have done it? Who did that? <laughs> it's a good thing, but it was also like, I had no idea who said it to me. So I found out it was him. And he said he had seen some old vlog I had done. Because he's seen some of my YouTube stuff where I like, I guess, bought candy or was trying it or something. Um, and he thought I would enjoy that. So that was just so sweet of him. And it really, like, warmed my heart. And I thought, that is so nice of him to just surprise me with a subscription, you know, box. Even, this is, like, healthy snacks and stuff. But it'll be really fun. And it just, it'll make me think of him when I have it. So that was very sweet of him. He gets back from Italy on Friday. So maybe I'll see him next week or something for lunch. We should meet up. Oh, I'm supposed to meet up with... Someone for lunch on Friday, I have to write it down. It's been a busy week. So much going on. And then today, Tuesday, I had my dentist appointment, which I kind of forgot about over the weekend. Um, yeah, I just saw it on my calendar and was like, oh, no. Um, I have two small cavities in the back of my mouth on the top. The top, it's like the identical tooth on either side. So I had to get that taken care of and... Ugh. It was awful. I haven't gone to the dentist in, like for that kind of thing in quite a while. So things have changed. They don't do Novocaine anymore. They do Lidocaine, which is where it's, you know, this tiny little needle, and they target it just at that tooth. So they don't, like, shoot up your whole mouth and then end up with you drooling on all, all over the place and with your tongue feeling funny. Because I know when I had Novocaine in high school, my tongue was like, it felt really weird, <laughs> and I kept playing with my tongue, and the dentist said, stop doing that. Anyway, so with the lidocaine, they just target, like, that tooth, and you don't get that all over numbness. So, yeah, it just, it took about 45 minutes today for them to do that, but it still hurt because your mouth is open the whole time. 
you know, they have this weird plastic thing they put in to keep my mouth open, um, and to keep, like, your tongue back and your cheek covered, and, and it was doing this sucky thing the whole time to suck up spit, and it just, it's super duper awkward having that dental work done because there was a dentist with her stuff and then there was a hygienist with her things and they stick all these tubes and you've got all this stuff and it's noisy and then there's the drilling, you know, when they're kind of drilling up the tooth a bit and then, ugh, I was like, this is exhausting. I'm not even the one doing the work, but I was like exhausted by it. I did get nervous beforehand and took a whole Xanax and when I got there I told the doctor who I've never met, the like dentist who was doing it, um, I get nervous and um, it'd be really cool if I could know that I could like sit up or step away if I need to. Um, so I told her that up front just, just so she'd know but everything went fine. I leaned back, I didn't need to get up, I didn't get panicky, I didn't get too nervous. I was uncomfortable but um, that's just how it is so. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's cool that we've got modern medicine and that you can go get your teeth all fixed up. <laughs> but it also, it stinks to do it. So, um, yeah, and then I got lunch actually downtown afterwards. But it hurt to chew it because my jaw still really hurt from, like, being open and then from, like, the drilling. Alright, today is Wednesday. I just got home from work and I'm in a really good mood because I'm an aunt times two today. My sister had her baby. Oh my god. <laughs> she was due on Saturday, so we were thinking, geez Louise, how long is it going to take till this baby comes? And yeah, she, she gave birth this morning to a beautiful, healthy baby girl. She was born at 8.51 this morning. She's 7 pounds, 9 ounces. They don't have a name yet, but she just is a perfect little bundle. So itty bitty. It's funny. You forget how small they are until... You know, you have a newborn, and then you're like, yikes. I've just seen picture, pictures because my sister, you know, moved up to Oregon. So I haven't met the baby yet, but that is my goal with all the psychologist appointments and working on my anxiety is to get in a plane and meet the baby <laughs> and live my life, you know. Um, yeah, so I'll tell you how I found out today. So today was a really busy day. There was just a lot going on. I had this class. Um, it was contracts and grants. It was about award negotiations and acceptance. Snooze fest. Anyway, so I was in this class about an hour in, almost 10 o'clock, and I checked my phone. And I had a text from my sister with a picture of a baby, the newborn baby, and her wording was like, Mackenzie's a big sister, or Mackenzie has a little sister. Don't share online. So that's what she told me um, on my phone. And then I just said, oh my god, out loud, and I grabbed my phone and I left the classroom. I didn't even take my purse with me or think about it. I just grabbed my phone and bailed. I had to go text my sister and find out more info. What exactly did she say? Okay, um, Mac has a little sister. Don't post anything online. That's what she said. So yeah, I was like, are you okay? Is the baby safe? Because my sister did a home birth. Um, with some midwives, they did a water birth, so like they set up a pool in the um, the guest bedroom at their house, and um, yeah, that was my main concern: is my sister okay? Is the baby okay? You know, without being at a hospital and all, my mind just worries about things that could go wrong. But yeah, Allison said everything's okay. She did have kind of slightly high blood pressure, which was an issue last time with Mackenzie, but this time her levels um, evened out and. After a little bit of time and everything went okay, so yeah, baby girl's here. She's here. They don't know the name. It turns out um, my sister's water broke yesterday when they were getting ready for the zoo. Hmm, didn't tell me. Didn't tell mom. <laughs> I guess she wants to keep it private to herself and stuff. But I was like, oh, you, I didn't know your water broke. I didn't know you were in labor. I didn't know anything until an, after, an hour after the baby was born and I got the text. <laughs> Um, but I respect her choices, so, um, yeah, baby girl's here, and I really, really want to FaceTime them tonight, if they're up for it, if my sister has the energy and wants to talk and stuff, I'm not sure if she'll feel up for it, she just gave birth to a baby, so, um, yeah, she sent me a few pictures, and I want more pictures, and I want video, I want to hear the little baby's voice, like, the little funny noises the babies make, 
and I just want to see her and I want to hold her <laughs> and learn about her personality and what she's going to be like and what is she like and not like to eat when she's older and I was thinking today has she pooped yet <laughs> you know with babies you want to make sure they they go potty so I'm just wondering about those little things um, I think she is eating okay breastfeeding okay um, yeah, so I want to find out more, but I don't want to bug my sister, but I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, so it was a great day today because little, little baby niece was born. Yeah, we've got two little nieces now, both little girls. So, yay! Baby, welcome to the world, honey.